Hello there captains, today we'll be looking at the tier 10 German tech tree cruiser, the Hindenburg. As with the tier 9 Rune, this is not a historical ship. Here we can take a quick look at the equipment setup and the commander skills selected before we go into battle. Looking at the matchmaking for this battle then, we have three tier 9 ships, two super ships, a CV and a submarine on each team. I've spawned on the east side of the map so I'm going to head towards sea cap to begin with. As always at the start of battle I'll be keeping an eye on the mini map to see how the rest of the team deploys. Now this will not be a cap rush in the cruiser. The typical playing style that you will see with most players for the Hindenburg is as a long range HE spammer with a stern in position. And that is going to be my first play in this particular battle. It looks like Jutland is going to give us visibility, some spotting on the sea cap. Always nice to see a destroyer doing its job for the team. So myself and Lion need to be ready to provide fire support should he encounter resistance in the cap. Okay, it's time to take that stern in position now then. Right, myself and Lion need to stay frosty now that uh, Jutland is actually entering the cap. Enemy cruiser sighted. Enemy bombfield detected. We can see that the sea cap is contested by the enemy now because the capture is not progressing. Okay, target acquired. And it's the German heavy cruiser Elbing. Elbing will not be able to win a gunfight against the Jutland. Ah, but the Des Moines will. Switch into AP for Des Moines benefit. Lion's not in a position to help, so I'm the sole support for Jutland at the moment. Des Moines turning away, let's see if we can give some assistance versus the Elbing. Okay, that's a little bit of damage, but unfortunately the Jutland's gone down now. However, the Lion is emerging to a firing position. Grozovo is joining us at Sea Cap now as well. I'm going to spin around and switch my guns to the other side. We have two enemy ships starting to capture B now, so I'd like to see if I can do something to actually deny them the cap. <laughs> I 
There we go. Uh, looks like Jutland is beginning to vent his feelings in the chat. It seems that I am playing like a bot. So while I'm defending the B cap, Grozovoy and Lion, having seen C cap just completed by the enemy, are starting to push that cap now. So, B cap not defended well enough, the enemy now has all three caps. It is typically true to say, lose the caps, lose the battle. We're another ship down now as well, uh, the Lion has been sunk. I'm going to turn around now and go to support Grozovoy at sea. Our positioning doesn't look fantastic as a team at the moment. We have six ships at the A cap, though we're not really making progress there. I'm pretty much out of position, need to get back and help Grozovoy. And it looks like our second lion is off to seek safety in numbers. Well, I'll make my way back to sea then. Perhaps we can all chip in and Finish off that enemy Pommern in B. Okay, our Grozovoy is leaving C now, but I'm going to carry on regardless. We have to do something now, need to be a bit more aggressive in our play. Oh look, a near broadside Brisbane, that's worth a shot. Des Moines as well. Okay, all hands to battle stations then, we're going in. Just waiting to pass this point at the end of the island and here we go shots away now i need to start turning around so i'm not offering that full broadside because des moines can be devastating as well there you go though two citadels and 12,000 damage that's a decent start and the old bing's down as well That's careless, I'm going to potato here. There you go, that's another 8,000 damage off of the Des Moines. Just when I needed it, there's a piece of luck. Storm's closed in and Des Moines behind the smoke, so now has lost visibility of me. Rather than continue to take on Des Moines and Brisbane on my own, I'm going to retreat for a while and recover some HP back. Meanwhile, Grozovoy has managed to cap B, and it looks like the rest of our team that were at A are retreating to B now.
I'm going to use this island to my starboard side here for some cover while I wait to recover some health. Let's drop some torpedoes just to discourage Des Moines if it's coming my way. And there she is. Quick shot then before I disappear behind the island cover. Now what I'm looking to do here is to spin around and go back in the same gap between the islands that I came out of. I'm going to have my torpedoes ready on that side then. Okay, Des Moines is spotted now and is leaving the cap, so let's get back around the island and take Des Moines on once more. Although it's taken some heavy damage there from the Annapolis, I believe it is. And in fact, the Annapolis takes him down. What a result. That should just leave Brisbane to deal with in sea now then. So if we can dispatch Brisbane, we can take the sea cap as well. What a remarkable change in weather, by the way. It was beautiful at the start of the battle. The only enemy is challenging for the B-cap now, so we need to get this C cap squared away ASAP so we can go and support him B. So we can see the shots coming out from the Brisbane, just can't see the thing visually yet. Here we go then. Oh, and a lovely broadside as well. Let's put some of this AP in there. And some absolutely destructive work by Annapolis. Didn't get the chance for a second shot. Right, let's make my way over to B cap then. Okay, we have just over seven minutes left, but we're a ton of points behind the enemy and a cap down, losing B at the moment by the looks of it as well. So we've got a a whole lot of work to do if we want to pull anything out of this battle. So it looks like Annapolis is doing a good job of resetting B, but um, here's an odd one. Why is Grozovoy sat in smoke there? Okay, Groz is starting to come with us now towards B. We've got Annapolis moving in that direction as well. But look at that Hayate, where, where is that going? <laughs> Looks like we have two enemy battleships in B cap at the moment, the Conqueror and Marco Polo. Now Grozovoy and Annapolis have this main entrance covered. I'm going to go outside these islands in front of me so I can cut off that uh, small opening at the uh, bottom end of B-cap. If the enemy ships exit from the south side of the B-cap then I'll be in a better position to have shots on them then. in 
minutes. Polo's looking very low, which is good news for us. And the Conqueror here might be going to give me a broadside so we can uh, inflict some damage on, on her then. Nice one, our CV takes down the Marco Polo. Four non pens, that's a little disappointing. But she sunk anyway by the Grozovoy. Well done, man. I'm already committed to the camp now, but that position of the enemy Edgar looks like a threat for our CV. Oops, that was an unintentional activation of the touchpad. I'm going to go out there and um, I'm going to take on the Edgar to defend our CV. Probably be better off using HE against a, an angled Edgar, but he's got an awful lot of HP left and I don't have time to wait for him to burn down, so I'm going to have to use the AP and see if I can get some Citadels. We can see the remaining enemy destroyer there now as well, heading for our CV. I'm not getting as many scoring hits as I would like, uh, but let's continue the job. And Nabalis is chipping in now as well. And there is a Citadel eventually. Davy Jones locker for me then, but so it is as well for the Edgar. So there's just the one destroyer left for the enemy and we're up against the clock, so we need it spotted soon. And there it is, well done CV. So Annapolis, we're all, all hoping for you now. Or perhaps even the CV can finish the destroyer off. And there it is, we've managed to pull a victory out of the bag eventually. Okay, so this game, five Citadels, seven defended, two assisted in caps as well. Some one ship, 98,000, um, gives us a fourth place position in the team. Compliments to Annapolis and Nakimov, and a big question mark over Hayate. What were you doing during this game? Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Goodbye.